that may be given in the instrument itself or in the contract act the person is entitled to determine, get it determined as to the terms and conditions are wide or whatever. So the basic thing which is to be seen that a document is a written instrument. Suppose a person himself writes an instrument. After writing he keeps the same in his pocket and does not use it. Is there any need to get it cancelled? The person against whom he has written this document should get it cancelled. So the answer is given in this section as I have already read. If the document is left outstanding may cause him serious injury. The document kept in the pocket is not causing any injury. It shall cause injury when it shall be brought to light, when it shall be used by, when it is supposed that the person is going to use it to the detriment of the person who is going to have the right to get it challenged. So in this situation where the document is written but is not causing any serious injury then the court shall not get it cancelled. It shall only be got cancelled in the circumstances when the court feels that it will cause a serious injury to the person. Now what is a serious injury and what is not a serious injury is a question which is to be determined by the court and generally when there is a threat or invasion on the right of a person as to immovable property, the law presumes that it is going to cause a serious injury. If a person is owner of the property, an owner of the property has every right to enjoy the possession of the property, but a man having an instrument prepared against him comes in the field and gives a threat to him that on account of this document he is going to dispossess him, meaning thereby that he has got the threat of a serious injury which will be caused on account of this document, he may come to the court to get it cancelled and may sue the court to have it adjunct as what. But what is the need to get a document cancelled? Why should it be cancelled? If you are owner of a property, you are in possession of the property, you are enjoying the ownership and possession of the property, but another person has got it an instrument against your rights regarding the same property which is owned by you and possessed by you, then should we file a suit for cancellation of document? Now it is to be seen by the court that the document in possession of a person, what harm it is causing to the person who is owner in possession of the property. If this instrument is a source of threat and, in, and invasion on his right and intended to cause a serious injury, then the document is to be cancelled. But if a document is not causing any injury, even if it is against the interest of a person, the court shall not adjudge it so. so the document is adjudged as a wide or wideable document if there are circumstances which enable the court to come to this conclusion that it will cause a serious injury. This question of serious injury is of serious nature. How the court determines 
that this document is causing serious injury and how this document shall not cause any injury, how it shall be a serious injury. So this is the question which is to be determined by the court. So on the principle that the court should not go beyond the pleadings, the pleading should explain as to how this instrument is seriously injuring the right of a person. So it should be in the plaint itself that this document, this instrument which is in writing is going to threat him and the injury which is expected to be caused by the use of this document is very serious. The seriousness of injury is dependent on two things. Number one, on the question of the nature of a right of a person which is going to be infringed. And on the consequences which may cause on account of use of this document. The seriousness of injury is very much material in this case. So an instrument, if it is required to be cancelled, the seriousness of injury is very much material. The serious injury does not mean the injuries which are given in the Pakistan Penal Court, but it means the injury to the rights of a person. What are the rights of a person in relation to the property about which this document has been created? So the right of a person are the determinative factor of the seriousness of injury. If this document is left outstanding, what injury it shall cause? Suppose there exists a document and this instrument is in writing. It is in the hand of a person. Why should you go to the court to get it cancelled? For the purpose of determining the criteria for the cancellation of the document is again the serious injury. Injury means to injure the rights of a person. Either right of a person or right as to property. If it is injuring the right of the property, then it may be a serious. And if it is injuring the person of a property, of a person, it shall also be serious. So the seriousness depends upon the circumstances of each case. There are certain cases when the injury is not serious. Suppose a person prepares an instrument and writes therein that I paid a rupees 100. He shall pay these 100 to me tomorrow. Should this document be cancelled? It should not be cancelled because when tomorrow comes the cause of action shall arise in favor of that person who is possessing the document. He should go to the court for the recovery of 100 rupees and the person against whom the document has been prepared should not go to the court. He does not require to get it cancelled. There is no seriousness in the injury and even there is no question of any injury there. He wrote a document of 100 rupees and kept in his pocket for tomorrow and tomorrow he is not using the same then you should not go to the court for get, to get it cancelled. So this document should only be cancelled in those circumstances when it is causing injury to you. It is not causing any injury to you. We usually see that our friends file suits for cancellation of certain receipts, file document for cancellation of check, for cancellation of or not, so they must write in the pleadings 
in the planet 